So what is going on guys, I am Black Ops Amazing, welcome back to another video on the channel where today we are going to be talking more Black Ops Golf War because we have more information about this year's Call of Duty, the multiplayer, the campaign, zombies, I would say we are getting pretty close to the reveal of this game now, we are in what? May, and according to a lot of people, as Modern Warfare 3 Informer said, this is most likely going to be the schedule of this year's release. So it should be revealed in June. We say that because not only is that the usual time to reveal a Call of Duty game, but because Xbox now owns COD, that is when the Xbox showcase will be taking place. So you can fully expect to see Black Ops Gulf War or whatever it ends up being called. That is just the rumored name right now. You can expect the full reveal to happen then in June, but expect some teasers before. So maybe next month, Activision are probably going to start rolling out the teasers. So anytime between the next few weeks, you can expect to see stuff like that. And then in late August, early September is when the beta should be arriving. And then we know the game is coming out in October. Normally COD releases in November. We have seen them come out in October though. And considering the amount of time Trog have had to make this game, by the time it comes out, they would have had four years to develop it. Unlike a lot of CODs recently, this one is different because it shouldn't have been rushed. Yes, we know some of the Troik developers have been taken to work on other projects, especially the Zombies team. They worked on Modern Warfare 3 Zombies at the beginning, but for a while now they've been back to work on Gulf War Zombies. Some of their other teams have worked on some of the multiplayer portions for MW3, but for the most part they've been focusing on Gulf War for a while. So we can expect to see a bit of an earlier release date than usual mid to late October. I've already done a couple of videos talking about what we know about these zombies modes so far. One of the big rumors is that we're going to be getting two zombies maps on day one compared to, well, in Cold War we had one, in Vanguard we had one, in Modern Warfare 3 we've had one. The last time we got two zombies maps on day one was, well, Black Ops 4 and that game we had four maps. In Black Ops 2 we had Transit and Nuketown and in Black Ops 1 we had Keenum and 5. Cold War was the first time in a while that we went back to just one map. So we've heard rumors that we're going to be getting at least two on Gulf War Zombies. However, Hey I'm Alex who was a big leaker posted a mysterious tweet where he said, what if COD 2024 is doing a BO4? Question mark, exclamation mark. Now of course loads of people have been speculating what exactly does he mean by this? What is he trying to say? COD 2024 is doing a Black Ops 4? Okay, that part makes sense, but what is the 2 plus referring to? And a lot of people have been saying does that mean we're getting more than 2 zombies maps on day 1? My ideal situation would be instead of them giving us 4 zombies maps on day 1, which was nice in Black Ops 4, but I actually think it's a little bit overwhelming having that amount of maps to play at once. Instead, because we now have seasons instead of the four DLC packs, and we know how Zombies has gone over the past few years, we don't usually get a new Zombies map every season, we get one every other. If they were planning to release four Zombies maps on day one, instead what I would do if that was them, is give us two on day one and then hold those other two back, which should mean they were able to give us a new Zombies map each season, because we'd usually get four free games life cycle anyway, and if they held those two back, that would mean we could get six zombies maps for all six seasons. To me, that sounds way better instead of us having to wait months for a map. We only have to wait around about six to eight weeks. To me, that's a much better schedule. But just going back to this tweet, another leaker replied to this where he said, many of bo 4 stuff will be reintroduced in COD 2024. I can confirm that. So from the sounds of it, Black Ops Gulf War will be very much like bo 4 in terms of what it included. No matter how much you hated that game because it wasn't loved, one thing you can't deny is how much content it had, not just on the zombie side. Multiplayer, it didn't have a campaign but it did have Blackout, which was pretty big. And it actually makes sense. If this game's had four years of development time, the most any COD has ever had, then that should mean they are able to include the same amount, if not more content than what Black Ops 4 had when we get it on release, which is super exciting, but we're also told Gulf War is going to reintroduce a lot of the stuff that we saw in BO4, I'm guessing gameplay and features wise. I think that's good because Black Ops 4 did a lot of good and cool things, but I wouldn't want to see everything introduced. There are still a lot of stuff from that game that I wouldn't like to see back. I don't want to see an exact copy of Black Ops 4 and Gulf War. I'd love to see a mixture of BO4, Cold War and BO3. That'd be my ideal situation, but is there the chance that a lot of stuff that we saw in BO4 returns in Gulf War? And the question I would then ask is, well, why? Because if I had to guess, I would have said Cold War was probably going to be the game that would make the most reintroductions in their next title, simply because not only is it going to be its successor, but also it's more similar, especially in terms of movement. I can't see Troy going back to that old cartoonish feeling that we had in BO3 and 4 Zombies compared to the more realistic feeling that 
Cold War had or Vanguard, Modern Warfare 3, any of the newer games. I feel like that's the direction that every COD is going to go on from now on and that cartoonish feeling that we used to get in Treyarch games won't return. So knowing that a lot of stuff from BO4 will be reintroduced to Gulf War kind of intrigues me. How is that going to work in a game that I think is going to feel totally different? The zombie side I can definitely get on board with in terms of content. Of course it's going to have a different story, a different set of characters. I mean I don't want to see the perk system reintroduced from BO4, but everything else I could get on board with. I didn't play the multiplayer too much so I can't really speak on that and that game didn't have a campaign so I was about to say hopefully there's a campaign, but we know there is, and we know that this year's campaign is going to be quite a bit different than what we're used to. This is probably the thing in it that I'm most worried about or sceptical, because from what we've heard it doesn't really get me off my toes, it makes me say why. I will leave the link to this article by GameRant down in the description, but they describe Black Ops Gulf Wars campaign being closer to Far Cry than Call of Duty. It's going to be more of an open world campaign instead of linear missions, and whilst linear missions will still be included, that's normally 99% of a COD's campaign, whereas this year it's going to be big, open, include a travel system. Yeah, it's an open world campaign from what we've been told. I'm normally not a huge fan of campaigns like this in any game. I like linear missions, where the focus is more on the story instead of the gameplay. And believe it or not, I haven't played Modern Warfare 3's campaign, it's the only one I haven't played, because I've heard such bad things about it, and one of those bad things was that some of the campaign missions are like spec op missions. They're more, not open world, but they follow a similar path. I will get around to playing it, but it sounds like Gulf Wars could be very similar, just on a bigger scale. So yeah, from what I've heard so far, the campaign is the only thing I'm quite sceptical about. It's going to be different, I can say that. A lot of people make the argument that no one even cares about the campaign in Call of Duties anymore. I do, I love playing them every single year. Modern Warfare 3 is the first one I've never done straight away, which I think says something about the recent state of this franchise. And a little bit more on this from Tom Henderson on Insider Gaming. He says that the open world campaign is going to be developed by Raven and Treyarch will be focusing more on the multiplayer and the zombies portion. So hey, if you're a multiplayer fan or zombies fan, that's great news. That's more focused by Treyarch on those modes, but if you're a campaign fan, maybe not so much. And whilst this isn't new, Raven always assist on campaigns. I'm not too sure if they fully develop them themselves, it's usually them helping either Treyarch, Sledgehammer or Infinity Ward. Tom here kind of makes it sound like Raven have done it all themselves, I'm sure they haven't, I'm sure Treyarch have had input, but maybe that's one of the reasons why it's so different. There's also been a massive leak about all of the weapons in the game, I'm not really interested in this, I don't really care what guns we are getting, a good gun that we've got in a past Call of Duty might be totally terrible on this one, so when it comes to leaks, weapons and killstreaks in COD has never really interested me, and we don't know about maps yet, but expect a lot of new ones and some remasters, I can guarantee some version of Nuketown is going to come back. So yeah, there we go, it looks like Black Ops Gulf War might be pretty similar in one way or another to Black Ops 4. A lot of stuff that we saw in that game could be reintroduced in COD 2024. I think this could either go really good or really bad. So there we go. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. As always, hopefully you've enjoyed the video today. If you have, drop a like rating. Make sure you are subscribed to stay up to date with the latest videos on the channel. Thank you all for watching and I will see you in the next one. Until then, goodbye.